Today we want to prove that either 2 times 3 to the 100 plus 5 or 2 times 3 to the 100 plus 6 is not a perfect square. Now we don't want to compute these numbers, that would be absurd. We also don't need to show that either of them are perfect squares, so we don't need to compute that. We just need to show that one of them is not. So uh, if you don't remember what a perfect square is, this is when a number like say 25 can be represented by the common factors altogether. So five times five, 36 would be six times six and so on. So how we're going to approach this is we're going to consider the difference between these two numbers and we're gonna to try to think about properties of perfect squares. So let's say that we have two numbers. So these are going to be two positive integers. So we'll say they're in Z plus and we're going to pick n plus one and n. So these are gonna be two consecutive numbers. And the reason we're doing this is because the difference between these two numbers is just one. Two, to the th two times three to the 100 plus five and two times three to the 100 plus six. So we're just looking at the difference between those two numbers. Now, because these are squareds, we're going to square them. So this is going to be n plus one squared and we're gonna subtract n squared from it. So now we're taking a look at the difference between them. Now, if we do some calculations here, what are we gonna find? This is gonna be the same thing as n squared plus two n plus one. We're subtracting n squared. This is the same thing as two n plus one. And now we need to be creative because what do we know that two n plus one has to be greater than or equal to? Like, is there some boundary or range there? Well, there is because we pick n to be in the positive integers, we know that n is going to be at least one and n plus one is going to be at least two. Therefore, if we take two n plus one, we're just adding these together, this is going to be greater than three. So what this is telling us, this is telling us that if we have two perfect squares, least three distance between. So if we do have a perfect square, if we do two perfect squares, so let's pick two, like four and one, we see the difference is at least three, or let's say we pick nine and four, the difference is at least five. So the difference between these perfect squares is always gonna be greater than three. But let's take a look at our equation. So if we do two to the 300 plus six, and we subtract two times three to the 100 plus five, what do we get? We just get one. So we get that the difference between these two numbers is just one. And what do we know? One is less than three. So because one is less than three, we know that both of these numbers cannot be perfect squares. Because if they were both perfect squares, what would we need? Well, we would need to have the distance between those two numbers to be at least three, but they're not. So because of that, we don't know if either one of those are a perfect square or not, but based on the properties that are the difference between those numbers, we can claim that at least one of them is 